Hello and welcome to United Nation News by Universal Versatile Society, casting a bright light on the latest developments from United Nations. Our headlines for today are Australia leads G20 in per capita coal emissions despite renewable growth. UN warns of alarming humanitarian disaster and sexual violence in Eastern Congo. African Climate Week 2023, leading the green transition. UNDP rebuilding women-led companies in Ethiopia after the war. UN raises alarm on environmental impact of sand dredging in oceans. Climate breakdown alert as air quality dips during heat waves. Gender apartheid. UN expert denounce Iran's proposed hijab law. New report by UN Women warns against increasing gender gap. Now, let's discuss these topics in detail. Australia leads G20 in per capita coal emissions despite renewable growth. Despite increased adoption of solar and wind energy, Australia continues to have the highest per capita CO2 emissions from coal among G20 countries, according to analysis by the energy think tank AMBO. While Australia and South Korea have reduced per person emissions from coal-fired electricity since 2015, they still release more CO2 per capita than other major economies. China, the world's largest annual emitter, ranks third in per capita coal power emissions, as its electricity use outspaces its growth in zero emission generation. The report highlights Australia's role as a major coal exporter, enabling other countries to increase their emissions. UN warns of alarming humanitarian disaster and sexual violence in Eastern Congo. A top UN official informed that the humanitarian situation in the war-torn Eastern Congo has deteriorating alarming in the past 18 months, with 8 million people in urgent need of help and women and girls being sexually abused on a large scale in just three provinces. The UN has appealed for $2.3 billion for humanitarian assistance for Congo this year and the executive director's group emphasized the need to enhance protection and security of civilians, the responsibility of national authorities to address rising gender-based violence, and the importance of restoring peace in the region. Africa Climate Week 2023, leading the green transition. Africa Climate Week 2023 ACW took place in Nairobi, Kenya, from September the 1st to 8th alongside the Africa Climate Summit. The event focused on climate finance, loss and damage, and climate justice for collaboration and forward-thinking initiatives. Africa, despite contributing only 4% of global emissions, is affected by climate change, leading to food shortages, displacement and migration. The region seeks to leverage its renewable energy resources to drive sustainable growth and become a leader in the transition to green development. The Africa Climate Week aims to accelerate climate action, finance a just transition and empower Africa to become a green leader and economic powerhouse. UNDP rebuilding women-led companies in Ethiopia after war. Due to the two-year conflict in the area, female entrepreneurs in Ethiopia suffered terrible losses. These ladies, who come from various locations, lost their jobs and their possessions. But despite the difficulties they are still facing, they are working to re-establish their companies, such as tea shops, farms and trading. UNDP, alongside with 17 other UN agencies in Ethiopia, is working towards recovering, rehabilitating and reconstructing the conflict-affected region through broad range of interventions. The agencies are also supporting women empowerment, especially those who are extremely disadvantaged in order to reach places. 
UN raises alarm on environmental impact of sand dredging in oceans. The United Nations Environmental Programme, UNEP, has warned that extracting sand in the oceans is endangering marine life, as the exploitation is crunching all the microorganisms that are feeding fish in oceans and seas. Pascal Peduzzi, head of UNEP's analytics center Grid Geneva, bemoans that some ocean vessels were acting as vacuum cleaners adding that the scale of environmental impact of shallow mining activities and dredging is alarming. Sand is the most exploited natural resource in the world after water and is mainly used to produce concrete and glass. Some countries have banned marine sand exports, highlighting the need for unified regulations. Climate breakdown, alert as air quality dips during heat waves. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres issued a stark warning following record-breaking global warming in the Northern Hemisphere, with August being the Hertz hottest on record and the second hottest month ever. Guterres emphasizes that climate breakdown has begun, urging leaders to accelerate climate solutions. The 2023 WMO Air Quality and Climate Bulletin highlights the dimensional impact of heat waves, worsening air quality and health. WMO released the report ahead of the International Day of Clean Air on September the 7th, emphasizing the importance of partnership and action against air pollution. Gender apartheid. UN expert denounced Iran's proposed hijab law. UN experts have criticized a new draft law in Iran that imposes harsh punishments on women and girls who do not wear a hijab, stating that it could lead to gender apartheid. The proposed legislation currently under review in the Iranian parliament includes long jail sentences for women refusing to wear the veil, along with penalties for businesses and celebrities violating the dress code. The UN panel of experts argues that the law, along with the existing restrictions, is discriminatory and may constitute gender persecution. This move follows protests sparked by the death of Masha Amini, who died in detention due to dress code violations. New report by UN Women warns against increasing gender gap. A new report from UN Women has warned that if the present trend continues, more than 340 million women and girls will be living in poverty by 2030. While one in four women will experience moderate to severe food insecurity, Older women will face higher rates of poverty and violence than older men. The agency's acting deputy executive director called for immediate action through firm commitment, innovative solutions and collaboration across all sectors and stakeholders to provide equal rights, opportunities and representations to women and girls. I'm Sofia and this was all for today. Stay tuned for our next episode. Thank you.